Welcome to our latest exploration of NEOM, Saudi Arabia's groundbreaking vision for the future. NEOM is set to be a pioneering megacity, epitomizing sustainability and futuristic design, featuring distinctive projects like The Line, Trojania, Sindala, and Oxagon. Despite the buzz created by numerous promotional videos last October, updates on NEOM's progress have been scarce. Today, we dive into the current state of construction to see just how much has been achieved. Welcome to Tales of Titans, and thank you for your continued support. Now, let's dive into the latest developments at the line. Announced in 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the line is a hallmark of ambition. Envisioned as a 100 plus kilometer linear city stretching from the Red Sea to near Tabuk, its design features two parallel structures, each 500 meters tall. This urban marvel aims to offer everything within walking distance, eliminating the need for cars, roads, and carbon emissions. Since the drone footage revealed excavation work in October 2022, updates have been minimal. However, recent interviews with project executives suggest significant progress. Approximately 20% of the essential infrastructure, roads, offices, and logistics hubs is complete. Satellite imagery showcases notable changes, especially at Neom Community One, which now resembles a fully functional city with housing, a school, a mosque, a post office, stores, and even a Starbucks. Excavation for the line's main structure has advanced significantly. Google Maps reveals the foundational outline and the hidden marina, poised to be the world's largest, is progressing rapidly with an excavation rate of 1 million cubic meters per week. Piling work is also underway, with over 4,500 piles installed in Module 43 alone. The Spine, the line's dedicated underground rail system, has undergone major revisions, reducing both the tunnel length and the number of stations. Funding for the line, like other NEOM projects, comes primarily from Saudi Arabia's $700 billion public investment fund, overseen by the Crown Prince. Construction partnerships include UK's Keller Group, Germany's Bauer, France's Bache Soletage, and China's state-owned Power China. Italian firm WeBuild and Saudi's Sajeco have been contracted to build a high-speed rail line connecting the line to Oxagon. Despite the progress, the project faces criticism regarding its sustainability and human rights concerns. Experts estimate that construction could generate up to 1.8 gigatons of CO2, and there have been reports of forced relocations and human rights violations. Trojenia, a luxury outdoor winter and skiing destination, stands out with its ambitious six-year completion timeline, driven by the 2029 Asian Winter Games. Located near the Red Sea coast within a mountain range, Trojenia has seen steady progress. Excavation for a man-made lake and the vertical village, the vault, is progressing, with significant foundation work for the ski village. Partnerships with luxury brands Ennismore and Minor Hotels aim to establish high-end accommodations in the area. Sindala, Neom's luxury island resort, is poised to be the first project to open, scheduled for 2024. It will feature a marina, luxury hotels, a golf course, and various leisure facilities. Construction progress is visible via satellite, with roads and foundational structures taking shape. Oxagon a floating industrial port city is the business and industrial hub of Neom. With a $2 billion investment, the port of Neom is slated to open its first terminal by 2025. However, current construction progress appears limited compared to other Neom projects. As Neom's trailers slowly transform into tangible realities, the world watches with anticipation. What are your thoughts on these developments? Share your views in the comments don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future.